This is the OJ Today. Welcome back, everybody. Alex Bastiavansky here, joined for our annual playoff preview episode, this time by a man. How happy are you to be here? Oh, ecstatic. Ecstatic, I'm sure. Once again, Joe Oshkarak. I can take you about one hour a year. That's good, that's good <laughs> enough, folks. Too much of each other already. <laughs> it's all anyway, been good. Mississauga Chargers head coach Joe Oshkarak is going to join me for this episode. Break down all the first round playoff series. Uh, there's going to be some good ones. Who is there ever? No question yeah. about it. A lot of parody this year. Very much uh, so. Across playing the game, league, yeah. First time ever. Awesome. Absolutely. Good playing game. game. We'll next. discuss that in a moment as well. Uh, we're going to start things off in the Northwest Conference and the North Division. And uh, the number one seeded Markham Royals taking on number four, Georgetown, who snuck in there, as you mentioned, yep. through the playoff process, had to play the Pickering Panthers. We'll get to that game in a second. But Absolutely. Uh, let's start a season series. Our Raiders took the series... 2-0, two, two games they played. That was yep. it. Uh, one overtime win there against Titan. them, and uh, that one in Georgetown. And uh, the Royals, let's take a look at them this year. 29, 18, 2-5. Uh, good year up in the north. Very much so. Right, no, top Mike two. Does, Mike does a good job, though. He does it. Mike Glad yep. does a great job. Uh, top two scorers in the OGHL yeah. this year. Don't see in, that. Uh, pardon me? Don't see that. You don't see that too often, no. though, in uh, Luciani and Braden Aubin. I mean, offensively-minded team, as they usually are. Extremely. Yeah. Yeah. Extremely. What were your thoughts when you played them? Well, we just played them the once, just the way the schedule was. We actually beat them. Sorry, Mike. And uh, we played well. Um, physical. We just got in their face a lot because they're so explosive. And, and I'll admit, Andrew Albano has had a really good year. And he struggled a little bit in our game, but uh, that's good for us. But uh, they are explosive and they're well coached, and uh, it's a great, it's a good organization, Alex, for sure. I haven't had too much playoff success though since moving from Hamilton a few no, years. No, they ago. haven't. That's one thing to consider. A uh, key for Markham. Joe's got to stay out of the box against Georgetown's power yeah. play, which we're going to discuss. Like for the last in, 10 years in a row, it seems just, like. <laughs> just in their, their penalty count, uh, too. But, yeah. yeah, so we'll discuss that in a moment. But th that's a key for him anyway for Markham. Absolutely. The so Georgetown rate is the number four seed. Get in there in dramatic fashion, beating Pickering in the crossover yeah. game. Yeah, I watched the game. It was awesome. Unbelievable. It was fun. Uh, Matty McJanet stepping up. I love Matty McJanet. Yeah. He's one of my favorite players. I love him. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I've said that for a couple of years now. I wish I had him on my team. But they did a good job in going into Pickering, a tough place to play. Oh. And, you know, I'm sure the coaches didn't like a 5-4 game, to be honest with you. But you um, take it how you can. Yeah, it's absolutely. You and, just got to win in Georgetown your win, right? just has a tradition of winning, and yeah. Scotty McCory's done a good job. He has, and yep. Crocker. After coming in late, too, it should be pointed out. Yeah, in the summer. late in the so, summer. There was some, I don't know was, really what happened The transition happened, there. happened yeah. late in the summer, so... I think they've actually done a really good job. I agree with you. And, and good to be honest training. with you, I think you'd almost take that trade off, that one game playoff as opposed to having to face the Blades uh, in the first round. No offense to Markham, 100%. We'll get to that in just a moment. But yeah. to the Raiders, a very experienced squad. A lot of veterans on this team battle-tested, of course. Yeah. Three straight Buckland Cups yeah. they've been to. Can't take that away. On top of winning it in 2017. So a lot of experience. Uh, a key for Georgetown, you got the veterans lead and yes. that special teams, we should mention, first in power play, Second in penalty kill, which is insane. Yeah, for a team that had to play a play-in game, yeah. you, you that's crazy. So uh, incredible. Yeah, they, they just just they just know how to win. And you're taking George seven seven. Yeah, I am. Sorry, Mike, but um, just the playoff experience has just hurt them a little bit in the last few years. I hope they get over the hump. Yeah. Scotty McCory is a former Oshawa General, and I yeah. went for the Generals, and you know they're going to have a little momentum. So I am taking that very tight series. Okay, okay. let's move to uh, number two New Market against number three Aurora. Oh boy, oh, boy. Aurora. We'll get to that in a second, <laughs> but. Uh, Hurricanes won the season series 4-2-1, and one. OT, yeah. one OT win in there for Aurora. Uh, New Market, uh, power play 13th, penalty kill is 6th overall in the league. Yeah. Defensive-minded team for Extremely. sure, third lowest in goals allowed. Mitchell Weeks, a very good goaltender, he's on my team at T, uh, the uh, in Trenton there. At the, right. And uh, he's going to Sudbury, I believe, next Sudbury year. Sudbury in the OHL next year, yeah. I against is, what, under 2? He's one of the top and, goalies. I mean, he's only 17 years old, I think, or something. Yeah, yeah it's, Mario uh, took over, and it looked like a good change, yeah. even though uh, the guys before them did a good job. So, yeah, uh, what, six kilometers in between ranks. So Battle make sure you guys Street. fill the ranks down there, guys. That would be a great Absolutely. series. Absolutely. Battle of Young Street and Trotman, Claudio to Gasper, yep, two big players. scores 
big drop off after that, though. They're going to have to do something about it. Uh, okay, we're getting on in time here. So let's just say Kiefer Aurora, you've got jump on Aurora. Uh, Kiefer Newmarket, jump on Aurora yeah. early because the Tigers. I don't know what's happened there. It's not for me to say well, they have struggled, um, you know, losing Mizzy, but they still have they still have Ball, they still have Davis, they have some good players like Luca right. Durante played for me. He can steal games, but if they can't wipe it clean, um, it's going to be tough. Well, okay, so really quick about Aurora because we've got just over a minute here yep. to talk about them. Boy, they started off so well. Oh, just for some context, here, very good. They had a 13 point lead in first place in the North in early December. Uh, they finished. Third in the division, 11 points behind. So uh, two wins in the last 10. They've lost 16 of their last 20. Man, they just finished off so, so tough. Uh, and losing Mitzi to the ECHL yeah, certainly doesn't help. No, it certainly right? does The leading not. scorer in the OGHL. So they'll, they'll have to rally around the other 20 guys in the room. And, yeah. and I think Michael Palandra suspended too, who, who's a very, very good that defenseman. That is going to be tough, yeah. Um, so they got to rely, rely on Durante a lot in that series. It is close. It is a rivalry for sure. So, but I just don't know if you can overcome what's going on. Oh, there but right a now. lot of experience on that team, a lot of OJ, yep. uh, pardon me, love OHL experience, right. love team captain Steve McClain. Oh, absolutely. Six yeah. foot seven, yeah. just a total Hard. character guy. Yeah, here he's a really great guy. mobile for a big yeah. dude. Too. Uh, here he's a very good leader, um, from what I understand. And, and the key that Joe's got here, and it's tough, but try to put it yeah. behind you what's happened over and the everybody last has month. to buy into that you can't just say it right absolutely okay he's taking the hurricanes in six I games am. I am. just the way it's gone for aurora yeah they're gonna have to pull out of it but uh, anyway we're gonna be back in just a moment with our west division playoff preview more j today coming up Welcome back to the OJ Today, everybody, as we continue on with our annual OJ first round playoff preview. Alex Bastiabanski alongside Joel Washkarak, Mississauga Chargers head coach. Uh, we're sticking right now with the Northwest Conference and in the West, uh, boy, oh boy, the Oakville Blades Ooh. taking on the Brampton Admirals, number one seed against number four. Oakville this year. Wow. Ooh, pretty good. Wowza. Uh, one <laughs> season series, 5-1, which is probably not surprising. Boy, you like Oakville. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I, you know, I live in Oakville. I'm very good friends with Mike Tarantino, and he's a great coach. He but fun. but I also want to say Jordan Selinger, who doesn't get a lot of credit, Alex makes a lot of deals for that team yes. and that, so I wanted to give him a shout-out. Um, I know our team voted for him for executive of the year, so don't forget about Jordan out there, guys. He did a great job this year, too. Absolutely. The GMs behind the scenes often get overlooked. Absolutely. Can't wanted, that that's happen. just one I wanted yep. to mention, but there's a ton of them guy in Mississauga, all of them. So yep. let's give a shout out to those guys Absolutely, today. and what a great job he did this year. 44, 5, 1 and 4. Third ranked team in all of Canada. They've been pretty much in the top five all season long, yep. I believe. Uh, third on the power play, ninth on the penalty kill. So excellent special teams for the Blades. I mean, you're just laughing because yeah, it's like, just, what are the weaknesses, right? They're so uh, they roll four lines. Uh, yeah, first probably goals, could roll five. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not going to argue with yeah. that. First and goal scored with 244, and that's 30 ahead of the second place North York Rangers in terms of goal scored. A lot of firepower. Yeah. I mean, a lot of firepower. When you faced these guys, what were you thinking? We were very, oh, like, hang on for dear life. We got lucky. I think they took us a little bit light because uh, okay. we had a, that was after the deadline. We They beat us in overtime, but, you know, our uh, Jack Irvine played very well that night. I'll leave it at that, but uh, they're, they're scary. Yeah, well, 720 goal scorers. On this team, I mean, yeah, that's it. We even looked at we, we did a little research on uh, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> and uh, a lot of research. We, well, a lot of research. <laughs> of, you know, there, there, we might have been in a pub. That's all I'm going to say. But we did some research and we were looking at it, and we were comparing it to the Raiders team from a couple of years ago that won the Buckley yep. Cup, and they didn't even have the balance in terms of oh. scoring. This Oakville team did. Spencer Kirsten, Thomas Maya, Garrett Pike, a D man who averaged over a point per game. Great goaltending duo. I think probably them and Trenton the best in the league. Yeah, okay. And uh, in terms of goaltending, absolutely. Uh, and the keys you've got for them is Olympic ice. That's yeah, massive when you have to go to Brampton and play in a band box. So yeah, and Oakville's Nobody Scott. plays in it, and they play it so well, and Mike does a great job. And yeah. it's going to be tough for Brampton and any other team that goes in there. That plays them right. Okay, uh, Brampton. Uh, I got to admit, I got a soft spot yeah, for you Brampton. Know what? They're, uh, they're blue-collar team. Tinkle does a great job. Dan yeah. Baker, um, play hard. Um, 
It's a band box in there. You could score yeah. from anywhere in that rink. So I said, we played him a double overtime game. I think the shots were like 54-50. So that's going to be a well, massive advantage to them. Yeah, to be absolutely. With and it's, it's, it's an interesting series because you've got the biggest rink in the league, the only Olympic size yep. ice in Oakville against, I said it was St. Mike's before, but you well, think Brampton's even smaller? It's pretty close. Yeah. and, and, and <laughs> Maybe a touch smaller. Probably in the smallest ice surface in the yeah. league that Brampton's got. Um, of course, a huge problem, losing Hudson Lambert, who was one of the, if not at the time, even possibly the leading D-man in the league, I lost him to injury. Yep, going to Canisius, I believe, Yeah, he is, year. yeah, so he's a great young D-man. That's, uh, that's a real, that's hard. Uh, special teams, eef. 20th in power play, 18th, 18th yeah, in PK. Maybe. Never mind the fact it's they're facing Oakville, but that's no, tough. It is tough. Yeah, yeah. you got to get that going. Yeah. Um, Rocco Andreacci led the team yep. in scoring. Um, and Joe's key for this game is uh, use that small ice, just like they Oakville's going to gonna use the big ice. Absolutely. You better win your home games. Win what you can. <laughs> but home. Brampton did beat Oakville once. They did. They, they actually year. beat them. I think it was 5 so, 1. They yeah, beat them. They, they smacked them. So in you got to lose whatever you did that game. That's what you need to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you are taking. Uh, they're just. So, so deep, and Brampton has a younger team. I'll, I'll take Oakville in five. Oakville in five games. Yep. Okay. I think we, Brampton wins a game. Okay. We move to uh, number two, field against number three, Burlington. Two very evenly matched teams that were in the season series as well. 3-3, uh, three, three, Buffalo won one of those games in overtime. Uh, Buffalo Junior Sabres, what were your impressions? Very good team. Nick does a great job down there. Yes. They're good at recruiting. They play hard. It's a great facility. Um, they always start a little bit slow, but by the end of the year, they always seem to be there. So they kudos do, yeah. to them. Yeah, I don't know why, but it, it is that way. Right. Uh, Adam Trudowitz, uh, the only yeah. point-per-game player on very that good, team. Very though. good player, though. And they got Ty Glover, who's good. Yep. Um, you know, World Junior A Challenge yep. this year, yep. Uh, Trevor mm -hmm. Peck is back with him now, who came from BC. Mike Spoy, who's a good hockey player. Absolutely. No, yeah. they, they have a good team. Yeah. Although, actually, pardon me, Glover, I'm not sure if he made WJAC, but he was listed on the midterm yes. NHL Sorry, ranking. I should have said that, yeah. Uh, the only Canadian on the team, too, actually, should be pointed out. Yeah. Glover, yeah. He's a pretty good player. Yeah, he's excellent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The goaltending is the question, Joe. Is yeah, talk about. I know they beat us this year pretty good. We had a rough night, but I, they're just inconsistent in that. And, um, you know, Matt Dunsmore, and we'll talk about Burlington, is very, very good. Yeah. And generally, if you have the better goalie in a tight series like that, you're going to win. So that's okay. why I'm going to take Burlington. And the key Joe's got for uh, Buffalo is get traffic in front of Matt Dunsmore. Yeah, if he sees it, he'll stop it. Yeah, who we're going to talk about now, the Burlington Cougars. Uh, eighth on the power play, 10th on the PK. Yeah. 27-22, uh, 3-2 and two this year. Solid season for the Cougars. Yep, yep. Mark, and I think Mark came coach. in a little bit. Mark came in a little bit late yep. too, from what I gather, mm -hmm. in the summer. And uh, him and Kirby and the guys that do a great job down there. And he's he's an offensive-minded guy. There's he no is, question yep. about it. So I'm surprised their power play's not a little bit better. But mm. um, you know, Burlington will have to try to steal a game in Buffalo. And as we've talked about a couple of times here, the, I don't want to we throw Buffalo kinda, referees under the bus, but we did around this, it, but we had asked. It is to be definitely said. better. Yeah, but. Still a question mark at Still times. A little the bit. refereeing in Buffalo yeah, is that what you they, okay. Yes, but that, right. well, that's a but every coach that. says the same thing. Okay, so that's I mean, good. Except for Buffalo. So, so yeah, I'm um, just saying, you know, with Buffalo having home ice, Burlington has to win a game. Now. They absolutely so do. try to win the first game. Right, and yeah. uh, Matt Dunsmore really solid in goal. Uh, Mississauga Steelheads yeah. pick. He actually yeah. played a couple games at least yes, with the Steelheads yeah. this year. Looking to grab a full time spot next year, but Dunsmore is great, and you think that he's. Probably going to be the key to the series. Let's just talk Absolutely. about key. Win one in Buffalo. You have to. Got to win one in Buffalo. <laughs> it's going to be tough. But yeah. And uh, your pick is Cougars in seven. You think just Dunsmore is going to make the difference? Absolutely. Yeah. That's my prediction. Yeah, just yeah. just a lot higher on yep. Burlington's goaltending. So yeah. that wraps up the uh, Northwest. I keep wanting to call it the Northeast. I know. I saw these but, divisions. Yeah. I don't even know what division we're in, to be honest <laughs> with you. So, <laughs> well... <laughs> We're going to get to your division in just yes. a moment, though, as yeah. we continue on with our OGHL annual playoff preview. Alex Bashevansky and Joe Washcrack of the Mississauga Chargers. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey everybody, welcome back to the OJ Today. Alex Bashevansky alongside Mississauga Chargers head coach Joe Washkarak as he joins me for our annual, and this is our fourth season now doing this, annual try preview. Not to, playoff try preview. Not to say that to Sorry, man. That's, that's okay. like a knife to the heart every time I bring it up, but we have a great time. Anyway. It's an annual. We'll just say that. And we're, it's annual, yeah. So <laughs> we're switching good. now to the, uh, the Southeast Conference, and I keep messing that up. 
uh, because I keep wanting to say Northeast. Yes. And, uh, since yes. Well, it's, next year. So yeah. But, but as the, I said, I don't even know what it was. I know what we're division in the you're in. So I, I yeah, can't so. be faulted if you no. don't remember for crying out loud. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, East Division. Good. Yes. Yeah. Colbert and Wellington. Boy, oh. it's just it's sad that someone's got to go out in this series, isn't it? Like two great mean, teams, two great coaches, yeah. and it's that's for both guys are probably thinking, oh my god. So like, that's it's, it's be a tough, tough, but that whole East Division was just a massive it was, this year. It, absolutely. So, um, Colbert won the season series four games to two, uh, one win in overtime there. Cougars, really good. good. Uh, fourth on the power play, fourth on the penalty kill. They won the East Division this year, the number one seed. Yep. Uh, Big, heavy physical team. Heavy. Talk about when yeah, you faced like them. We played what did them you a couple think? of times after the deadline, and yeah. we weren't very close in the games. Yeah. And we just got actually the one game they beat us pretty good in, in Coburg. I think it was two nothing, but our guys felt it. All the there were a lot of ice bags. There were a lot the of game. bruises They're and just bumps a big after that game. Physical. They do have skill. They have good goaltending. Jerome's a winner. Yeah, Jerome um, Dupont, as you mentioned, yeah, sorry, yeah. Coach, former head coach of the Gatineau Olympique as well in the QMJHL. Just a great coach. Very good yeah. team. I mean, so many weapons to uh, Brock Welsh, Riley McCutcheon, Jamie Engelberg, uh, up and down the lineup. Great goal. Team Cantonese team. guys. Both team Cantonese, yeah, yeah, and uh, Dershon Stewart. Played very well. Yeah. Big guy. Like, he's huge, too. He's a big boy, like, yeah. They, they're, they feed, I don't know what they feed him down there, but they're big guys. <laughs> <laughs> the, and uh, get Bannister, too, Alex. Uh, Bannister Matt. getting. And, so they and got Favreau, too. Bannister and Favreau yep. uh, in the, the trade the deadline for yep. the Patriots. That was huge. Pick, huge. Uh, for the good, job, good job for Adam down there. Uh, keys for Joe, use that physicality. Have to. Yeah, to be keeping the physical team. But yeah. Great hybrid team, though, of skill Absolutely. and yeah. and sandpaper as well. Yeah. Uh, Wellington, uh, boy, last season's Buckland Cup champions. Yeah, so they're the defending. Until you beat them, they're still champs, right? Yeah. So tough place to play. Yeah. John Drews, RBC winner. Jerome, RBC winner. That's just, that's a seven, that could be an eight-game series if you really it's, need it. <laughs> It's, I, I, That's I going to be an they, epic, epic They should series. get some good crowds for that yes. series. Yes, won't support those teams. teams. I just shouldn't have to, but yeah. make sure you do. It'll be great hockey for your value, for sure. Top line for the Dukes, uh, Rinaldi, Gilmore, yep. and Elijah yep. Gonzalez have been tremendous. Yep. Just, Lights again, out. a serious drop-off after that. It, it is, and that's the only probably thing. the thing. Yep. Yeah, uh, by the way, should we mention Logan Bateman getting picked up yep. at the trade? Uh, well, the so when they lost, uh, Olivier Lafreniere yeah, to, uh, to Laurier. Good for him going on to higher Absolutely. education. Can't, but can't fault him. Oh, he's been played, lights out. Been lights out from, I got him from Ottawa area, but I'm, I'm not sure which team to be honest yeah, with. Yeah, okay. Um, the the key for you is that top three have to produce. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, that's the offense. Absolutely. So so if you don't, you're in big trouble there. Uh, and you are picking Coburg in, in seven. Seven games. Yeah. I think it's a homer series because you have great facility yeah. in Coburg, great facility in Wellington, two very good coaches, two very good teams. Uh, as I said, that could be an eight-game series if right. you really wanted to look uh, at it. So That's it, tight, and it's too bad one of those teams are going home. I am excited to watch that series. Yeah, that would be awesome. be fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, number two seed Trenton taking on the number three uh, Whitby Fury. Two good and teams, too. Two good, well, it's like the whole East Division yep. this year. I mean, like, unfortunately, it's, Lindsay and Lass wasn't really in there. But yeah, even yeah. Kingston, I mean, any other division, no, that no, team they, is pushing they, yeah, for the playoffs, Absolutely. So. No, no, Peter did a good job yeah. down Kingston. Uh, Whitby, 10th uh, on the power play, 5th on the PK. Yep, so PK's really good. good when Defensively, very good. Is. Yeah, well, and what do we have in terms of goals scored? 5th uh, lowest allowed with 122 goals. I mean, that's lights out. That's yeah, amazing Luke Pearson stuff. played had a heck of a year, and Rob He's, did a good job. Like, Whitby didn't make the playoffs last year, as far as I remember. No, it was a and, big bounce uh, back. And they yep. really turned it around, and Rob's did a good job. And, and you're getting saves, you're going to win games, and Luke's had a really good year down there. Boy, oh, boy. I mean, for a 17-year-old, he is so composed yep. in there, isn't yep. he? Just a great goaltender. Yep, absolutely. Um, a lot of experience with those guys as well. Yeah. Um, and hard hitting, it's got to be pointed out. That yes, team is... Yes, Master Jelly, Sokal, uh, Sokol. Yeah. 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 So I, I, if I pronounce your name wrong, I apologize. But yeah, we played them just a couple weeks ago right. and there were some bruises there too. Right. Um, <laughs> that whole that whole division, except Trenton's a little bit different this year, but we'll get onto that. Right. Okay. So the, the Golden Knocks are actually the number two seed. Yeah. Um, and uh, power play was 12. Penalty kill was third. So, wow. Tough. Great PK. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. You're not, yeah. It's tough. Yeah. A lot of weapons on that team. I love it. That. I mean, Stephen Elliott and Tiger McDonald got yep. two biggies, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They, they've done well, and, you know, they picked up Andy Baker, I think, too, for, played in Brampton, or, right. sorry, North Bay a little bit, and, you know, they got three really good coaches on the bench with yeah. Thomas and Corey and, and Pax, so crowd support. They got everything. Great goaltending. Uh, home ice is going to be massive to try and I what think. What a tough rink to play it's in. It's extremely, <laughs> extremely <laughs> tough. And arguably the best uh, goaltending duo yep, in the league. Yep, them in Oakville, there. I'd say 1-1-A. One one yeah. 1-B, one you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Oberly and um, R Robillard, I believe that's his name. Robita I yeah, Robitaille. Robita sorry, and sorry. Oberoy, yeah. Yeah, you know, they're, they're but they're big. They stop pucks and, uh, you know, uh, 
Hey, hell of a comeback the other day, Aaron. Well, I mean, the thing is, a, a character team, like Absolutely. for sure, and no. that was evident in the CHCH game of the week we did, where yeah. they played Colbert uh, down four nothing. Yeah, I turned it off game. and came back. I'm like, what? What happened here? Yeah. But, Oh, Trom don't be too happy. Oh, you know, I, I, I was trying to get them to get some shots if on the bench. No, because, probably, probably because don't want like, to. You haven't seen this guy before, you know. They're, they're he's not, animated, but he's a very oh, good coach. Man, no, he's listening. He's a tremendous yep. coach. Um, but, uh, yeah, second low, lowest goals allowed yep. in the OGHL that's this massive. year. That's a Thomas Millen team. Yeah, so anyway, um, but uh, so for a key for, well, we, we missed the, the Whitby key. The key for Sorry. Whitby first is uh, whether that intense Trenton crowd. Yeah, like people in Whitby go support your team, but I know when we played there, there wasn't a lot, and you're going to get 800 people in Trenton, and they're literally hanging on top of you. And, they and Whitby vocal. has a young team. Yeah. Right? Like a younger team, an experienced team. So. And for uh, Trenton, it's uh, stay focused defensively because they've been so yeah. astute don't, defensively. Yeah, don't change that. All season long. Don't change it. And uh, your pick, and you think it's going to be another good series, but you're I taking do. Trenton in six. Yeah, just something about them in the last month or so and playing at home and I just think Whitby hasn't been in the playoffs last year and I think the experience in Trenton will really help them out and uh, right. it'll be it'll all be close games so Bill yeah. Pearson will do a good job it'll be great so two yep. great series Colberg and Wellington absolutely oh, man that's gonna yeah. be good and yeah. Whitby and Trenton the East was a beast this year yeah we'll be back to continue our annual playoff preview more OJ today coming up in just a moment Everybody, welcome back to the OJ today. Our final segment now of our annual playoff preview Went show. Went by quick. Went by so quick. It, it always does. flies. We are an expert at yeah. this now. <laughs> yeah. You're just Thanks. hoping you're not going to be back yeah. next year. You're like, this is We'll it. just Last Skype time. when I'm doing practice <laughs> exactly. or something. Exactly. Uh, joined by Joe Washcrack, the head coach of the Mississauga Chargers, as we switch now to finally the South Division. Yes. And uh, North York, the number one Whew. seed taking on the Junior Canadians. In another word, scary. Yeah, scary. Uh, good. It's that blades kind of. Well, you know, they're right. Hey, yeah, they're I mean, right. They're right there. Season series against the JRCs, the Rangers took it. Uh, there were some blowouts in there. Yeah. And, yeah. But JRC won the last game on CHCH again. They won the CHCH so game. Whatever they did there. North York could let up a little bit in that I game. I think so. They were up to nothing. They were up to nothing. Yeah, late and in I the thought game they probably thought then, it was going to be 10. Lost a note. So but that's, you'll, 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 you'll get that lesson. They got to pay attention. North York. As mentioned, just 49-1-4 and four this year. Special teams, second on the PP, first on the PK. Them and Georgetown just kind of flipped Flip those flop. two things, yep. didn't they? Yep. Um, and the sixth-ranked team in all of Canada. And just give me your impressions of North York when you um, played them. You know what? The last couple of games, uh, they blew us out. We did yeah. take five points off them this year, probably the most that I've That's actually team. interesting. And you should so, be asked because you actually beat them twice this year. Well, I would say And you couple, snapped their 13-game winning streak, yeah, too. Yeah, I would think that they would take us a little bit lightly because we did have a younger team. Right. We just got in their way. Um, we put pu as many pucks to the net as we could, and we got some we got some goals. So yep. I don't want to say we got lucky because I do want to give our guys some credit, but uh, we played them guys extremely hard the last couple games after they made their moves. It was difficult for us, but they are very, um, very good. They got your number one player in yep, Gaines, Brandon, yep. picked up Gaimans, yep. uh, picked up Spaniola with the trade deadline yep. as well. Jonathan Hampton earlier in the season, great pickup as well. Redinger, this is a team, I think. oh yeah, yeah like they're, four deep lines. Jet Alexander. Probably is going to win the top goalie in the OJHL this year. I would think if they year. don't, something's wrong. Something's wrong, yeah. <laughs> Maziar's might be the best. Yeah, I love Joey, too. Yep, and it's Great Mogi. team. Jess Mogi's a really good coach there, and yes. Teeks and those guys there. And, and uh, Claude Desjardins, another GM we'll mention, yeah. did a fabulous job there. And the key for you is shut down Ciccolini and Manikas, who we're going to talk yeah. about in a second, with the two high-end players. Two high-end. Hutton, you can add in there. Sherman, but... Right. I don't know. Like they're they're very 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 good. Let's talk about <laughs> the, the it's, it goes with that. So let's talk about the junior Canadians yep. here, um, who were I mean they came on at a good second half of the season. Yeah, and they got rid of their captain Jason Pino too. They and did. They, they played. They who played we forgot fine. to mention on the Oakville Blades, sorry Jason, but yeah, obviously Jason's a, great player, a very very good player, guys. Who was, who was the junior Canadians captain? Yeah, got traded to Oakville. They pick up Manikas at the trade deadline. They very go good player. Going to Clarkson, I think. You're going to Clarkson. Chickalini off to Michigan. Michigan. So a lot two of very, scouts. Two very good. A lot of scouts at the Scotiabank Pond. Yeah, a lot of NHL guys. Yep. Fast team, balance. 
Um, one thing that you wanted to point out was the little goaltending you're a little they, iffy on as well. Yeah, this one. no, they did shut us out Saturday, so it probably looks silly, but I've watched a lot of their games just pre-scouting and that, and it's a little bit inconsistent. Okay. Um, That's Mattiachi and May. Yeah, so I'm not sure what Jeff's going to do. I would I would assume Mattiachi will start the series, mm -hmm. I would think, and but when you're playing against Jed, it's going to be an uphill it's battle. It's going to be tough. Him. And a uh, fun thing to point out, 11th power play and 11th on the PK, yeah. exactly midway point yeah. so for, for both. For, yep, Jeff yeah. does a good job there too. Good job. Um, and Blake Ritchie. Um, and a key uh, for uh, them is be physical with the Rangers and try to slow them down. That's all. You, 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 if you well, don't, you're dead. Do. you're dead. But you're taking Rangers in five. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, well, <laughs> they're just I mean, that, listen, they're that good. They could, they said, with two high-end players, though, you never know. Absolutely. those are high-end players. Playoffs are, Chickling we Manicus. will say playoffs. It's a whole different game. Okay, St. Mike's and the Patriots, uh, number two against number three seed uh, same record on the season though the exact same record those two teams they both uh, duked it out at least they didn't finish fourth no one wants to finish fourth no um, and have to face the Rangers St. Mike's uh, always as high in players they do again this year you're loving I was at yep. Trumbla uh, yeah. No, uh, yeah, yeah Trumbo, pardon me. Goal 34 game. goals in 34 games. That's the best in the league. Yeah, there's nothing close to that. In I would terms think. Of and he was out. I think he broke his forearm this year yeah. earlier. Cameron Searles is right. a good player. The Alexanders. Um, you know, Rich does a very good job. Yes. Games. You know, they've always got great high-end players. Absolutely. Pace. Typically a little on the younger side, yep. too, developing always. those great yeah. guys. But really, uh, you know, great to see them this year. Jack Watson, fantastic in goal. World Junior A Challenge for Canada. But I, I got a phone call today saying that he, he didn't play against us on Friday. He didn't dress, and there's a rumor that he is injured. And if he doesn't play, that is a nothing against Labora. That is a massive blow for St. Mike. So we, we had an injury thing last year. I know we spoke about somebody from New Market. That's and right. Yeah. Came true, but I hope not for Jack, and I hope not for St. Mike's. But uh, there is a rumor that I was told today that uh, you know he may not start the series. And that makes a big play. difference. Absolutely. We're going to mention in a second. Yeah. Uh, we got a minute, so we got to knock this off. And so, uh, key for you is use that small license at St. Mike's yeah. right up there with tough Brampton. Play. Very tough place Tight. to play. Use it. They okay. very well done. The Pats, yeah, 30-22, 0-2, as mentioned, the exact same yep. record as they the St. Mike's Buzzers. Uh, fourth and goal score. Yeah, I said they can score. Right. They, they have a tough time keep, keeping it up. They have a tough time keeping it up, but very interesting. They didn't have a single 20-goal yeah. score so let's after go. Bannister left awesome. anyway. Awesome depth. And yet fourth in scoring, which yep. is great depth. Yep. Yeah, so, and Pescia you like in goal. Yeah, you know, yeah. He, I do. He's um, he's a very good goalie, and it'll come down to goaltending. Uh, I think so. In a, in a series like that, yeah, I really do. Uh, Chris Pappas, uh, Dirk Stady, Alex yep. Demos. Good player. The hard hard working offense. team. Very hard working hard team. Hard working Alex. team. Yeah. Um, the key, if Watson is out, jump on that. That's what you're saying. That's what the Patriots will do. win if Jack Watson doesn't play. Okay. And if he does play, I'm taking St. Mike's. And this is one <laughs> We've of the never done this before. <laughs> this is one of the entertaining things when I asked him for his pick. We haven't done this before, which is, yeah, it all hinges on Watson. If Watson is in, you're taking St. Mike's in yeah, seven. That's correct. If Watson is out, he's taking the Pats in seven. Goaltending that important. We are yes. out of time. Hey, first round is going to be thanks, awesome. Buddy. Awesome. Thanks, man. I can't wait. So much. Yep. Always great to have Joe. Thanks a lot. Giving his expertise. I remember to head to OJHL.ca to keep up to date on all your league information. Get out there and enjoy the playoffs, everybody. We'll see you next week. Walker saved me by Tapano. It rolls around past the referee. Evans, one feed, they score! Frank Pucci, the game winner, and the Buckland Cup winner, the Wellington Dukes, for the first time in seven years.